Have you ever wanted to create a mind map using your computer? Well, now you can. Using callgo.it, you can create any mind map with your main idea and your supporting details. You can even add images for those visual learners. My name is Edith Tavera, and this is my Module 6 assignment for Edit 3318. So today I'm going to show you how to include images in your mind map, which is a very important component for your students as well as yourself. Including images adds a better purpose and gives you a better experience to visualize your supporting details. So I have my mind map created. I titled it Characters. And for my supporting details, I included right down here any person animal or object that plays a role in a book and i made sure to include object person and animal so today i'm just going to show you how to include an image so to include an image you can go ahead and click on your text and once you click on it you get five different icons here above and um, the b stands for making your text bold I making the text italicized and you have an option to link it to a website or include a link to a website and right here you can upload an image and on the little lightning bolt you can search for icons but right now our main focus is uploading an image so I'm going to go ahead and click on this square and once I click on it it automatically takes me to my files and I already have my images downloaded on my OneDrive, so I can go ahead and um, click on the file I want to upload. So I'm going to do person. So I am going to include my file. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And it gives you a preview of what that image looks like. So I am going to go ahead and open it. And it uploads. And once it uploads, you get a link. But to have the image viewed, you just have to click anywhere on the white screen and your image will pop up. So you can either do it directly or you can branch out a different section and then add your image. So to branch it out on a different section on your mind map, I'm going to go ahead and hover above this line and I get a plus sign. So it gives you a different portion to your mind map and it gives you the same options. Um, you can type in text, but I want to include, include an image right now. So again, I'm going to click on the square to upload an image. And the image I want to upload is for an object. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the image I want, Tom is a train. And again, it gives you a preview, so you can make sure it is what you want to include. I'm going to open it. And once again, it gives you the link. But to have the image viewed, you just go ahead and click on anywhere on the white screen. And you have your image. So I showed you two different ways. You can either include it directly next to your text or you can branch it out. I hope you found this presentation useful to use in your classroom for your students and yourself. And I hope this video helps you to include images, images to your mind map. Thank you.